Hi guys, um, what's up? It's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. Today is a first for me. I never thought that I could do a Q&A because, um, I mean, we don't have like a big following, right? We we're only at two, su two subs. We're only at 200 subs, which is like still cool for me. Obviously, I can't do like a huge Q&A, but you know, I just like deleted my questions. That's great. On my Instagram story, I did the um, like ask me a question kind of thing. And I was like, you know, uh, filming a Q&A. So this is my first Q&A ever. Shout out to my friend Maggie who literally gave me 80% of my questions. So yeah. So I have quite a few questions that people have asked me through Instagram. You should follow me on Instagram and be on the lookout for some new Q&As. Also, my Instagram is just amazing. Like, I try to keep up with it. I try to, you know, keep a theme. So yeah, you should go follow my Instagram. Let's get started. Okay, so my first question is, how do you balance dance, school, and YouTube? What the... WTH, you are crazy busy. Yeah, yeah, I am crazy busy. YouTube right now is still um, a side thing. It's still a hobby of mine. But at the same time, it's still passion. Like, I really, really, really love YouTube. I go on YouTube every day for different YouTubers. And you should go check out my last video, which was all about my favorite YouTubers. Yeah, I really, really love filming videos. I think it's super fun. It's a great way to like have an outlet for myself and express myself. School, school is crazy. I'm going into my senior year of high school. So this upcoming semester is gonna be full of um, college applications, getting my SAT score up because I did not do good on the SAT. Just like hard classes, you know. I like to learn a lot, so I like to challenge myself. This year is gonna be challenging, definitely, but at the same time, I love it. Dance, dance, literally everything revolves around me dancing. I barely barely have a social life because of all these three things but i can't imagine my life not being busy like i love that feeling of always having something to do writing things down in my planner um having a schedule for myself honestly my life is crazy busy but i i really like it i really like my life so far so that's good okay next question what shampoo and conditioner do i use i'll be right back I use a shampoo and conditioner called Alcove, and it's like this hydrating shampoo and conditioner. It's supposed to like keep my hair, since I do dye my hair brown, um, supposed to keep it brown for longer, I guess so. How do I feel about senior year is the next question. A little scared, honestly, like after senior year is where I take off into the real world and become an adult, which is crazy scary. But at the same time, I like, the feeling of being old and having, you know, a mature role in high school, I guess. So I'm super excited for senior year. It's gonna be the best year yet of high school. Um, but at the same time, I'm pretty scared for what's to come next. So yeah, okay, next question. Can you do an improv video, please? Well, for those who don't dance with me, um, I have always excelled in like improv dancing and contemporary dancing. I, I can't explain why, I don't, really don't know why, but improv has been like <laughs> my favorite thing about dancing ever. So um, over the years, I think I've gotten quite good at it. Like last year I did an improv solo. So maybe, maybe in the future I'll do an improv video, but I definitely want to get into like choreography videos and um, kind of put together like creative choreography things with other dancers, not necessarily me dancing, but my moves put on to other people. I don't want my channel to be focused around my dancing because that's what I have dance for. I'm completely focused on dance, but I want this time to be where I don't have to focus on dance and I can explore things about myself and about other people and about society. So I'll include maybe some dancing videos occasionally, but not having my channel revolve around my dancing, so. Okay, <laughs> uh, shallow question. What mascara do you use? Um, this is the mascara I put on today. It is called the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. It's in this cute pink bottle. Pretty great mascara. I'm running out, so I'm kind of like mixing with other mascaras, but yeah, this, this one's pretty great. Water or lemonade? Water, because uh, that's a little bit more healthy than lemonade, and you can survive off of water and not lemonade, so. Favorite type of flower? Hmm, I gotta think about that. Not really like a planty type of person, so 
I have no idea. I'm gonna say, uh, this is not a flower, but I'm gonna say like a succulent because um, aesthetics and trendy. Yeah, I'm not really into plants, honestly. I could not tell you my favorite type of flower. Like I barely even know like types of flowers. So succulent is my answer. <laughs> favorite tall friend. <laughs> Oh, you know who you are. Favorite dance style? Um, well, okay, I said this before, but my favorite dance style that I've always really excelled at is contemporary. Yeah, I could not tell you why. I just love contemporary a lot, so that is my favorite. It just makes me feel so good inside. Okay, okay, this one requires a little bit more background. But the question is Lex dot or comma Lex period express yourself about him. Okay, so for my non-dancers out there, Lex Ishimoto is the most recent winner of So You Think You Can Dance. For the traveling conventions that happen and my studio goes to, he was at one of the conventions as a teacher. I got called out, one out of three people in like this group, and um, it was great. The freaking winner of So You Think You Can Dance like called me out in his class, which is kind of a big deal for me since I don't really get called out a lot. So it was crazy, like he noticed me dancing it's still crazy to think about. I know this was like six months ago. So recently, my studio owner has been trying to get Lex to come to our studio to A, uh, do a class, B, set a piece, which I would be in, and C, I, he would do my solo, my senior solo, which is crazy. Like, I can't even wrap my mind around it. Um, so express myself about him. I love everything about him. I love everything about his motto, which is like hashtag state legendary. I love his choreography. He's such a humble human being, which is amazing. And I look up to him in like a very personal level. So yeah, he's an amazing human being. I, I hope that he'll be able to set my solo, which is crazy. And he would be such an amazing connection in the dance world, so. Okay, next question. How was London? London, my sir, was amazing. I don't know who asked this, but yeah. You should go check out my Europe vlog video. There wasn't a whole lot of vlogging. It was very artsy, but London was our last stop of our Europe trip. It was amazing. I hope that one day I'll be able to travel abroad and study in London for dance. The thing about London that I think is really cool is that there's such a mixture between cultures. It's such a diverse city and like in a way that New York is but on such a whole new level. It's a very clean city kind of. Very very historical. I'm such a history nerd that like it, it drove me crazy how much history there was in that city. Um, not to bore you with facts or anything, but the city is 2,000 years old. Like, imagine how much history fits in 2,000 years. We visited places from the Great Fire, which was centuries ago. Pubs that have been around for centuries. The, the weird thing about London is that we have this old architecture. <clears throat> you have this old architecture right next to this brand new architecture, so... It's such a mixture of cultures and I really like it. And the accents are very cool too. <laughs> I mean, not to brag or anything, but uh, I kind of picked up the English accent. Yeah, not really. I still need to work on that if I ever live there, but it's definitely on my dreams list to live in London and study dance or anything, honestly, so. Uh, next question is, where is your dream city to live? Well, that's funny. I'm, I'm gonna name off a few. Obviously London, cause I just went off a rant about how much I love London. New York, because um, my dream school is in New York and I recently went there, so you go check out my New York vlog. <laughs> yeah, New York is amazing too. Again, in like a culture smash. It's very, very high energy, which is, uh, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. Like I'm kind of an introvert, so I like to stay to myself a lot of the time. Um, there's always something going on and there's the land of opportunities for performers and actors and dancers. Great place to live, honestly. But if I were to venture out between those two, cities. I would go somewhere in Europe, probably Vienna, Italy. Just, have you ever seen the movie Letters to Juliet? Oh, that, that made me fall in love with the city, so yeah, if I couldn't live in New York or London, I would live in somewhere in Italy, because that's the ultimate dream for me. Uh, what made you start YouTube? That's a very good question. I think my sophomore year of high school, I just found myself not being myself all the time, and I realized like I didn't really have a great outlet to be myself always dance dance was always there for me um but sometimes like sometimes it just wasn't enough you know i've been in love with youtube ever since i've heard the name youtube just watching how all these people 
create these videos and use their creativity and inspire people because they've obviously inspired me. I don't know. I just really wanted to like make a contribution to the society. Like I've always wanted to influ influence people. I just kind of wanted to make my mark on the world. I kind of felt very invisible my sophomore year. So um, I, I don't know. I just thought YouTube would be a great place for me to you know, do something different and be different. Experience something new, really. Try something new. And I, I love it. It's been over a year now. I absolutely love it. Do you ship Emma Chamberlain with low... We're gonna try that again. Do you ship Emma Chamberlain with a Dolan twin and which one? Good question, Maggie. Yes. And with Ethan Dolan. I honestly, I just think they're better together because they're both very sarcastic and very loud. <laughs> Like, they can both be very, very loud. You know, she's very sarcastic and can be very, um, upfront, upfront. So, I think Ethan is more like Emma in that way than Grayson is, so. Okay, I have two questions left. Favorite bath and body candle? Well, I don't really go to bath and body, honestly. All the candles I've gotten from them are, um, birthday gifts or, like, Christmas gifts or whatever. My friend had given me, um, a flavor called Christmas Donut or something. Something about donuts and cinnamon mm, that flavor <laughs> that's been my favorite one yeah that was from bath and body something with to do with donuts i don't remember what it was called but yeah it smelled good it smelled very good and our last question of this q a would you rather step on a nail and it go through your foot or shave my eyebrows yikes why well, um are you okay why did you give me this question my vote is neither i wouldn't not like to do either of that cool so thank you guys so much for watching this is my first q a ever so i don't know it's kind of cool like people send in questions for me um yeah so thank you for everyone who sent in a question it was great filming this give it a like if you liked it subscribe down below turn on notifications that's super cool you'll be super cool if you do that i have a lot of cool videos coming up hopefully i can film more with my crazy schedule um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys next time.